Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to solve another problem but before going forward if you have not liked the video please like it, subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado let's get started. Problem is stone game 4. Uh, I have already made a video on stone game 7. I'll, uh, play, uh, I'll, I'll uh, give there a link in the description. So let's see what the problem is. Alice and Bob take turns playing a game with Alice starting first. Initially, there are n stones in a pile. On each player's turn, player makes a move consisting of removing any non-zero square number of stones from the pile. So, every player on its turn will take square number of stones out of the pile. Also, if a player cannot make a move, that player loses the game. And uh, we have to we are given an integer n which tells how many stones are there and we need to true uh, we need to return true if and only if alice wins otherwise return false both players play optimally let's understand with this uh, an example uh, these test cases so if you see if there are, there is only one stone then alice will pick that stone one because one is a one is a, a square like one into one so it's a square so alex will pick, pick that value and bob will not be able to make any move hence Alice wins. So we'll return true. Over here, first of all, Alice will pick one stone, then Bob will pick the other one stone. Now it's Alice's turn, but there is no stone, so Alice will lose. So false. And n is equal to 4. Right. Now over here, n is already this is already a perfect square. So Alice is playing optimally. Alice knows that okay, this is an opt this is a this is a perfect square. I'll just pick this only. So Alice will pick this and uh, remaining stones will be zero so bob will not be able to pick it pick any and hence alice wins true so this is the problem i hope you understood the problem let's see how we'll approach this let's say we are given a stones a stones are there in the pile and it's alice turns first it's alice turns first so what Alice does, uh, let's say there are uh, four, uh, Alice take X stones, Alex either can take Y stones or Alex can take Z stones. All X and Y, X, Y and Z are perfect squares, are perfect, are squares, right, are squares. Because we, person can only remove square number, right? So if Alice, uh, remove it uh, takes x stone so how many stones are left a minus x a minus y and a minus z right now for example if we know that if these many stones are there let's say this is a sub problem let's say if we know that if there are these many stones if there are a minus x stones does alice wins or not that is if alice wins return we return true and if uh, alice uh, loses then we return false right so for example for example if we know uh, that for if there are this many stones if a player will win or not if there are these many stones will player win or not so if this returns false right if this returns false means this player if this is like these many stones are there and if it's returning false it means that this player this will win because this player will take x stones and then all, no stones will be left and then the other person will not be able to make any move so what is that it's that if we know the answer for this if the answer for this is false then this person this person which is going here will win because the, this person has one move which the person can make this one. Right. But if if this returns true. If, if what happens. If this returns true. Right. Then this person. Will. Uh, like this person. This person is winning. Like over here. This person is winning. So uh, basically it's that. That if this person returns. If this returns false. Then this person, this one, 
can win because it has one more move and that it can take the it can make that move and it will win and the other person will lose so what we can do is we can we can check for uh, like if there are x y z these many uh, we can check for each uh, square we can check if this returns false means if these many stones are there and if that person is uh, losing at this one false then it will win at this when because then a person can make x can take x stones and can make the last move and uh, the other will be not able to make any move so that person will lose so alice will win alice wins if here for these problems are problems we get false let's understand this with code for example if we have this this is function given to us winner square game then what will happen over here we have uh, this uh, what we are we are making we have making this uh, array because there will be like, uh, repetitive sub problems so this is done for memoization we'll see with one uh, example also so we are calling this function let's let's see the example also once so let's say n is 7 let's say n is 7 right we have seven stones so first turn is of alice how many perfect how many squares are there uh, which are less than seven so one is square and four is square so either alice can remove one stone or alice can remove four stones so if alice removes one stone how many stones will be left six and if alice removes four stones three stones will be left so now it's bob turn bob stone bob again can either remove one stone or can remove four stone and over here uh, what bob can do I, bob can only remove one stone because four is greater than this so not possible to remove four stones so only one stone will be bob will be able to remove so if uh, it removes one stone then how many stones five stones will be left and if it removes four stones then two stones will be left and if bob uh, bob if bob removes one stone then two stones will be left here and now it's alice's turn see over here you see if these two problems repetitive they are again coming repetitive problem now alice turns is there so either alex can remove my, my uh, one stone or can remove four stone from here alice can remove only one stone and from here also alex can remove one stone so see sub, repeating sub problems now this will be four and this will be one this will be one here and this will be one here now it's bob's turn right so what bob can do over here either bob can remove again minus one stone or bob can remove so over here see what will happen bob is playing optimally bob is playing optimally na bob is also playing optimally so bob will see oh this is a perfect square just remove this bob will take all these so it will remove minus four stone and zero will be there and alice turns is there so alice will not be able to make any move because zero stones are left similarly for here also the, that will happen and from here also bob will take this and it will be alice will lose alice will lose in this case right so this is how there are repetitive sub problems like these are repetitive sub problems for example over here these are these are sub repetitive sub problems so that's why we are storing these problems in an array we have taken this dp array and we are calling this helper function we are passing n if n if number of stones are zero or if number of stones become less than n then it means that 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 no move can be made and hence that person loses or return zero if there is value so this is memoization we will return that value and not compute it computer again and then over here we are checking for each square we start from one and we go till n whatever squares we have like let's say over here if we have six 
then from 1 to 6 we have two squares 1 and 4 so what we are doing we are checking for these n minus we do that and check if that is coming false means that person the uh, the second player is if the second player returns false then we are winning so we will write one we will mark this as one means we that person can win otherwise return uh, otherwise it will be false so i hope you understood this let's submit it so it's getting accepted the time complexity for this is see this loop will go how many times under root n times that is square root of n because it's i i into i n i into i it's i into i less than n so it will be i will be n un, like this under root n so square root of n and uh, how many times n times so n so time complexity will be n square root n and space complexity will be o of n because we are using dpr let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section and if you like the video please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video